There was a pretty high degree of scientific agreement that the delay of four weeks that ministers chose to take was an extremely sensible thing to do. And I think the fact that uh, things are played out as they have, I think, reinforces that. Uh, but the view uh, is, is more mixed about exactly what the right timing is from a technical point of view, even before you get into uh, issues that uh, the Prime Minister has to deal with more widely. Uh, and these really come from the fact that at a certain point you move to the situation where instead of actually averting hospitalisations and deaths, uh, you move over to just delaying them. So you're not actually changing the number of people who will go to hospital or die. You may change uh, when they happen. Uh, and there is quite a strong view that, uh, that um, by many people, uh, including myself actually, that uh, going in the summer uh, has some advantages, all other things being equal, to opening up into the autumn when schools are going back uh, and we're when we're heading into the winter period uh, when uh, the NHS tends to be under greatest pressure for many other reasons. So it's a, very, it's a very much more difficult technical decision now, even before ministers have to grapple with all the other things, than it was in terms of the four-week delay, where I think there was a very substantial degree of scientific agreement.